In this lesson, we're going to talk about graphing and writing equations of circles. Before we get started on how to write an equation for a circle, we want to talk first about the distance formula. Because the distance formula really is the basis of the circle, and the distance formula relates to the Pythagorean theorem. So most people know that the Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, or the square sum of the square of the two legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Well, how does that apply to the distance formula? Well, if we think about the distance as being from point A here to point B, then the distance really represents the hypotenuse. So we can figure out what the distance is between two points by taking the square of one of the legs plus the square of the other leg and adding those together and then taking the square root of that value to find the distance which is just the hypotenuse. So the distance is just going to be the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared and that's going to be 13. So talking about circles We know that a circle is a set of all points, we we'll call them coordinates, x, y, that are the same distance from a fixed point called the center. So if I were to draw my circle and I drew a radius, which is the distance from the center to the circle, from here, from the center to that point on the circle, and then I drew another radius here, and then I drew another radius here, by definition, each line, the red, the black, and the blue, are all going to be the same distance. So what really drives the equation for the circle is the location of the center and also the distance between the center of the circle and the circle itself, which is called the radius. So we can figure out what the equation is, first by knowing the center, and then by knowing the radius. So in these first problems, we're going to have the center at the origin. So we don't have to worry about uh, modifying the equation for a circle just yet based on a translated circle. We'll do that in another lesson. So I have the origin at 0, 0, and I want to figure out now, the only thing I need to figure out is what my radius is, and then I can determine what the equation is. The formula for the circle with an origin or with uh, the center at the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And this looks awfully familiar to our friend Pythagoras' theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So in this case, the c squared, the hypotenuse, just again relates to the radius. a squared is the x change uh, distance in the triangle that we set up, and y is the distance that we set up in the triangle again in the circle. So if I were to figure out what the distance is between the center and a point, I just set up my triangle here. I have my x change, or my difference in uh, x values, and my difference in y values, and that will bring me to my distance for my radius, which is that length. So I find that my change along the horizontal axis is going to be 3 because it says it here is here's a point. My change along the y-axis is going to be 4. So I know that the distance is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is going to be 5. So I know now that my radius is 5. I can rewrite the equation as x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, or 25. We can take another example. I have a point on my circle at negative 12, negative 5. I have uh, the center at the origin. Again, I can figure out the radius by creating my triangle and using the distance between the two points as the hypotenuse, or using a hypotenuse in a right triangle to find the distance. So again, here I have 12 units to the left, 5 units down. And if I, again, take the distance formula, which is a rewriting of the Pythagorean theorem. I have the distance is equal to 12 squared, square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared, and that should equal 13. So now I rewrite the equation as x squared 
plus y squared is equal to 13 squared or 169.